What's happening, Ed? At Melfley picnic site. Fantastic drive. No cheetah, but we saw some unusual things. The honey badger, the African wild cats, they were super cute. And some nice meerkats. So it's a win. But we're just here to have a snack, maybe some coffee, then head back to camp. Uh, we got to move campsites today to, I think, Road Pits 1, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do that quickly. And then this afternoon, cooking up the poiki. Oh, I'm looking forward to this <laughs> poiki, hey? This is definitely going to going to be filmed. It is under big pressure big today pressure. to perform, eh? I can't mess this one up. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen many, uh, many uh, poikis on these episodes. Yeah. And uh, today's the day. It'll be exactly the same. But you guys have never tried it, so... Ah. Well, that's fine. Uh, I can't, wait. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait. Well, so we're just uh, heading out on a drive this morning, and it's going to be our uh, last morning drive because tomorrow we uh, head out of the park. Um, just uh, managed to come across uh, two African wildcats this morning. Um, it's pretty cool. They were just uh, running and playing around the tree, um, it looked like a mother and and uh, kitten. Um, not not too young, but uh, yeah, quite small. Um, and yeah, they were pretty. They went to too worried about the car actually. They, I thought they'd be a lot more skittish but they just came around the car a little bit and walked around the road and there was a bird in the tree. Um, not too happy that they were running around below it. <laughs> so that was quite funny. Um, alarm calling and so on. But yeah, it was quite cool. Nice to see them. The first time we've ever seen them. Um, and uh, yeah, quite, a, quite a treat to catch that uh, so early on the drive this morning. Hopefully that means we're in store for some good things today. Anyway, we'll have to keep an eye out and try to find some cheetah. It'd be nice to come across a leopard, but uh, that's that's going to be a tough one. Bird's not happy. Bird's African wild cats, little kitties, eh? They're coming here.
Okay, so after a good morning, we're back at camp. We've uh, packed everything up. Well, take a look at this, not really packed, but uh, we're moving house. Yeah, we didn't want to pack everything fully up, so we are loaded everything on the roof rack and left half the lot uh, open. And then we're just cruising very slowly to our campsite, which is number one, which is only about not even 100 meters or more up here. So, yeah, that was, a, that was about a 10 minute job. <laughs> we're moving. set up um, it's busy reinflating tires here Ed what are you using there uh, got the good old Indy flate and the built-in compressor it's the one from Toyota but what's lack about this thing is it evens out the pressure between both tires it's a bit tough to do that if you're just using the compressor so yeah fantastic bit of kit inflating now so we don't have to do it in the morning and we can relax the rest of the afternoon looking forward to it yeah, it's a really good piece of kit. I've also got it and uh, as you've seen in some previous videos, we use it to deflate obviously every time and uh, and inflate. Um, but uh, most some of the time we obviously just got a petrol station or something like that and uh, pump up there. Uh, but to save us a bit of time in the morning because we're leaving a bit earlier um, to get on the road to a long trip home. Um, it's best just to get all that stuff done now and then you're not worried about it or, or tend to neglect it and do some miles on the tire that might damage the tires. To the bathroom inspection. See what these things look like. Pretty good from the outside. Let's have a look see ya. Look at that. I think that's a good sign already, huh? All the cleaning stuff in here. Lime. Obviously it's a long drop. Oh look at that. Spotless. Big thumbs up from me. It's the first campsite I think we've been at where these have been spotless. Everybody just does their part, they'll stay that way. Amazing. Very, very nice. Also got a shower here as well. Let's have a look at that, but it's only cold water and it's uh, oh, um, a it's only cold water. Um, but still still very nice. At least you can get something, so there we go. I think in the summer this must be magic. Nice and, uh, nice and cool. It's a hot day driving around. And uh, yeah, there's running water as well, which is really cool as well. So at least we can get water very easily. Um, it seems like all these sites, there's a bathroom and a toilet between two sites. Um, and uh, it's uh, got running water at all of them. So very nice. Oh, in for a special treat tonight, eh? It's making a... Signature dish. Signature? Signature, let me come aside and get the man preparing. So tell us a little bit about this dish, Ed. So it's, I think it's Jamie Oliver's, one of his recipes. It's actually for an oxtail, but I do leg of lamb or lamb shank or just lamb poiki in general, lamb neck, those sort of pieces. I'm gonna chuck onions first, olive oil, then we're gonna brown the lamb a little bit, lamb stock, wine, Butter beans, whole peeled tomatoes, rosemary, thyme, bay leaves, Worcester sauce, tomato paste, and then a bit of couscous on the side, and don't forget the garlic. Yes, uh, looking forward to this one. Eh? Sounds absolutely amazing, and what a what a good dish to end off on. Eh? And our last night yet. Some. What are they, Ava? Cheetahs. Yeah. Cheetahs. Cheetahs. 
Yeah, so we've come across two cheetah that are on the left hand side of the road, um, about uh, 10 meters off the road. And this is very close to our camp. How close? Very close, eh? Yes. Yeah, and you saw it on the sightings board, eh? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome, eh? Can't wait to duck into that, it looks fabulous. Well done, Ned. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe the other oaks have been talking nonsense this whole time <laughs> and saying it's good, but Jade says it's good. No, it's really good, eh? Okay, good stuff. Jay, <laughs> hope you enjoy it. I think it's gonna be awesome. What do you think of that, love? It's good. Not surprising that it's a famous recipe. It's delicious. Good. It's a bit chilly this morning, which we're unfortunately having to pack up a bit early and get on the road. We've got a long drive ahead of us today, so best to get on it early and uh, yeah, make our way home. But it's been a fantastic trip, eh? Sure. Sightings and adventures and everything else has been amazing. So, so yeah, so to obviously come to an end, but at the end of the day, it's uh, it's been a good one. So, so we can definitely go away. Go away knowing that too, you've got some uh, some good memories and uh, look forward to the next one. All right, guys, so that brings an end to a awesome, awesome trip. Uh, we all packed up now, Rupert's ready to go. Uh, we're going to 
head on through to Kimberley, stay night there in the same place that we stayed on the way up, um, and then we're heading home. So, yeah, be home tomorrow sometime. Um, yeah, just an absolutely fantastic trip. Um, huge shout out to Ed for um, all his help along the way and uh, just uh, being an absolute awesome uh, trip companion. Um, we had uh, such a good time and um, uh, learned lots. I mean, that's what traveling with new people is often about. Um, you're always learning lots and uh, discovering new things and the way things are done, which is really awesome. Um, so yeah, gr really great trip. Um, couldn't be happier with the sightings, um, with what we saw out there, with uh, you know, just just everything was just really, really good. Um, the Kharakari Trans Frontier Park produced time and time again. Papua, absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, we will definitely be back. Um, please, if you like these videos, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, we're bringing the bush to you and our experiences to you. Um, and yeah, just that little bit of support with a, a like and a subscribe or goes a long way and just helps us reach more people out there. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.